Crystal Faulkner with the CPA and Business Advisory Firm of Cooney, Faulkner & Stevens. We're here today with Vanessa Indriolo Vreeland. Vanessa is the Senior Vice President and Managing Director of Private Equity at Fifth Third Bank Corp. And Vanessa, Fifth Third recently launched a brand new direct investment program into earlier stage companies throughout its footprint. Why is Fifth Third taking that action and then what is the goal of the program? Sure. Well, Crystal, we have been investing in companies um, at a much later stage, but really had found that within our footprint there had been quite a bit of state um, and public money as well as private money that's gone into these early stage angel investments, a lot of startups. But as those companies grew, um, started to build real products and started to see real revenue growth, they um, were at a loss for um, investment um, and there seemed to be a funding gap and so we thought it was an opportunity for us to fill that gap. Well there clearly is a funding gap. You hear about angel investors mm -hmm. and venture funds early on and then you have private equity a little bit later in a company's life but there is a real need here locally even to for investments just like what Fifth Third is doing so that's wonderful. And speaking of locally, Fifth Third's first investment was a company called ThinkFine right here in our Cincinnati region. That's right. Um, ThinkFine is a market op optimization software company. Um, they've got a great product that um, offers their customers an opportunity to look at how um, different marketing mixes will drive revenue dollars and pretty accurately as well. Um, in the day of digital media, um, I think a lot of consumers are trying to figure out where to spend those marketing dollars. Um, and so we were excited about ThinkFine because of the product, the management team, and also the other investors who are alongside of us in the company. That's wonderful. And we're really delighted and thrilled that your very first investment was here locally. But we're going to talk about Fifth Third's other investments around the country and its footprint and the economic impact that that will have. We're going to continue our conversation with Vanessa Indriolo Vreeland on WCPO.com slash BusinessWise. So, Vanessa, you mentioned earlier that Fifth Third will be making these investments throughout its footprint, which goes as far north as? As far north as um, we're all through Michigan, as far west as Chicago and St. Louis, and then kind of down the I-75 corridor through Florida. And so the goal of the program, in addition to really helping these early stage companies, and is really to create economic impact and drive growth and jobs, correct, in these various markets? Absolutely. Um, all markets, including, you know, throughout America, have really been impacted by the recent downturn. But if there's a way that we can help spawn um, more entrepreneurial activity and help mm -hmm. these companies survive and hire more people, that's a, a area we'd like to play in. It's just a win-win. Mm -hmm. How many investments do you anticipate Fifth Third making throughout its footprint? We're targeting two to four investments a year. Um, and so we're scouring our footprint today looking for the right opportunities. And what are those right opportunities? What kind of criteria will you use in deciding which companies to invest in? Well, we're absolutely looking to come in at a later stage than the earlier seeds and angel investors. Um, we're looking for the company to have a real product, um, real customers, so there's probably some sort of revenue component. A great management team. Um, That's really key, isn't it? It really is. I mean, People are so important to these businesses. I hear that so often. You can almost have a mediocre product or service and a great management team, mm -hmm. and it still could turn out to be a really great business. Yeah, absolutely. No, um, that, that is very true. 